Hello everyone, Kirith here, welcome to another Gran Turismo 7 breaking news video because we've got three huge things to let you know about, about Gran Turismo 7. Brand new gameplay footage, I've got some on screen for you here, I think it's the best gameplay footage we've seen yet of Gran Turismo 7. Big news for a track, Daytona is in. You saw some flashes of light there just like we saw for Deep Forest Raceway and this time they are confirming Daytona. Now, if you're a regular subscriber to this channel, you probably know that I've been speaking about Daytona and Gran Turismo 7 for a long time. <laughs> for a long time, because I spotted this in the original trailer where Daytona was shown in the world map. And there's been some illusions since, and some illusions to NASCAR cars as well. So I'm really, really, really hyped that this trailer is kind of re-revealing Daytona, because I think in an upcoming trailer, we're going to get some shots of not only Daytona, which is going to be incredible to see, because so far we've only seen new tracks that are fictional tracks. But when it comes to Daytona, that's going to be a real world track. And I think that's when they're going to speak more about the multiplayer gameplay. And I'd be amazed if we don't get a slew of new vehicles as well, because in this trailer, you're going to see we got confirmation that the car count is currently 428 cars. Now, if you subtract the cars in GT Sport, which is about 330, I think cars in GT Sport and all the new cars that are being revealed in previous trailers, we still got about 40 or 50 cars, I think, to be revealed. And like I said, I've seen in some previous trailers, some allusions to NASCAR, some stuff like that. So I feel like we're really going to get the juicy stuff now. But this trailer, for me, was all about the gameplay footage because what we saw, and I've slowed it down for your screen here, I think is the best look at gameplay yet. It just looks so much better than we've seen in previous trailers. The lighting seems a little bit softer and everything seems a little bit smoother. And it's no coincidence because Kaz in this trailer is talking about why you should be buying Gran Turismo 7 on PS5. Obviously, they're going to sell that. Say, say that because they want to sell you PS5s if you can even find one. But I have to say that the footage in this trailer here at Tokyo Expressway just does look just so buttery smooth and gorgeous. And something about the softer reflections, I think, really adds to that. See here, we're behind this Lamborghini. And uh, this, this scene would look so much different in GT Sport at the moment. A lot of um, references in this trailer, by the way, to ovals, which is why I think we're going to see in the next trailer a kind of full-blown reveal of Daytona. I think that's going to mark the next level of um, GT7 kind of trailers and reveals. See here, they've got the Ford GT LM, that car that we saw revealed in an earlier trailer going around Catalonia. Absolutely can't wait to drive that a GTE car. And here going around a big bank corner, which was a definite theme of this trailer. But let me know what you think. Are you impressed by these graphics? Did you notice a kind of upgrade in the in the kind of gameplay graphic performance that we see in this trailer? Because I kind of felt that in some of the previous trailers, I've been asking the question, is it really, really, really a step up? But you look here at the reflections on that kind of brickwork in this tunnel. And uh, we saw previously when they were coming out of another tunnel with the yellow brickwork, the soft reflections, it just kind of does take it to this kind of uncanny level. We're here at Laguna Seca, which doesn't look that much different. When you don't have the reflections on the kind of city tracks, it does definitely look more similar to GT Sport. I mean, this right now does look quite similar to GT Sport running in, say, replay mode, where the effects are turned up. Although replay mode at the moment GT Sport is 30 FPS. I'm pretty sure that'll be 60 FPS with ray tracing in Gran Turismo 7. So looking here at some scapes, obviously we know there's going to be a load more scapes in Gran Turismo 7. Scapes are fun. I use them a lot as a YouTuber for my thumbnails. By the way, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you want to see top me racing top split Gran Turismo Sport and G7 in the future, make sure to absolutely destroy that subscribe button. You won't regret it. I can absolutely promise you. Right here, critical screen. Look at the top. 428 cars. So we know on the back of the box there's more than 420 cars, but now it seems to be confirmed there's going to be 428. There's a very old Mercedes there you saw. That's a new car. We're going to see it in Escape coming up. This Mercedes CLK, by the way, is going to be a Group 2 car, which is quite interesting because Group 2 in GT Sport is a little bit weird. You have the older like 08 cars and you have the newer 16 cars, and the newer 16 cars normally just dominate the 08 cars unless there's open tuning. So putting this old CLK in group two um i don't know what that means for the bop and multiplayer this is a 1998 car but anyway get some more views here of of the scapes and that's all good and fun you can see here it looks pretty similar to we'll have in gt sport there's a, a section on uh, motion blurring which is quite interesting because blurring really is a combination of the aperture and 
your um, shutter speed. But obviously, the blurring is what really makes these pictures look real, especially when you're simulating speed at a track. So the fact they're trying to make that more accessible, I think is a good thing we might get more it might become more easy to escape and get this kind of stunning photo real pictures otherwise you can see the fonts changed but it doesn't seem to be that much different and i'm i'm still surprised because they didn't revamp the ui because gt sport is about four or five years old now and gt7's ui looks pretty much exactly the same which isn't a great look you can see here that line that is the chicane on the back straight at um, Daytona so again confirmation that Daytona is going to be in and I think we're going to see a spe a sp we're going to see a specific reveal soon I can't even speak today do you apologize as we see a Bugatti speed pass and we're going to see I think it's the next shot here again when you have this brickwork in this tunnel at Tokyo Expressway this is where the graphics really take another level I mean this is quite stunning you are getting close to photorealistic now even the kind of the softness about the headlights and these Lamborghinis. But then again, our next shot is going to take us outside to Willow Springs. And this looks very similar to GT Sport. So I think the kind of the, the new stuff they've done with the lighting really works well at night. And it works well when it's wet and there's reflections and whatnot. But when you're outdoors in the baking sun at Willow Springs, and you don't have those kind of complicated shadows, the, the engine can't really stretch. Like, right, here we are at Suzuka. Wet rain at Suzuka. This this is a brand new reveal. Look how good that Bugatti Chiron looks in the rear view mirror on the top right, by the way. How epic is that? And we've got the Jaguar Wheels XJ220, iconic, in the silk cut livery. All this kind of stuff gets me massively excited. <laughs> but here we go, Suzuka in the wet, in this Group 1 beast. Very much looking forward to that. A Porsche now at an oval. Again, alluding to the kind of Daytona reveal. That's where we're going next. Polyphonia weaving this kind of tapestry through the trailers which is very exciting to follow by the way this oval here is this northern Isle? i can't remember this oval here in gt sport it's impossible to do any good racing here because it's such a short oval <laughs> so why they show it so many times i don't know and we're back at alsace now in i believe this is the Peugeot group one car we've seen alsace a few times but again if you look at the kind of the vegetation it is a lot more detailed than you get in gt sport but i don't really care too much about this because i don't really like alsace don't rate it as a racing track unfortunately and again we're back on an oval now in a jaguar loads and loads and loads of oval stuff being shown off here in this gt7 trailer there's a new super behind looking epic and again with the lighting a little bit moody there with the shadows and the clouds it just looks a little bit more realistic when you put it in the baking sun at willow springs that's not the best showing off of the engine and in fact i think if you look back at that scene at willow springs one of the alpha four c's actually has a wheel missing which is a little bit worrying. We're back at Alsace now. I'm not sure why. Get rid of Alsace. Don't need Alsace. Laguna Seca, look at that detail in the background. There's actually a debug camera you can get into in GT Sport where you can roam around the environment. And at Dragon Trail, they've rendered the whole area. So again, I'm expecting some massive detail. We're at Sucuba now, going all over the world. Looking great at Sucuba. We've got some of these GT cars going side by side. And there's a flash of light. That's a new NASCAR chicane at Daytona. A very new that chicane at, at Daytona. I think only a year old. And again, I really, really hope we're going to get some kind of NASCAR-style cars. The NASCAR license is tied up with Motorsport Games, who are owned by the Motorsport Network, who own stuff like Traction, R Factor 2, the NASCAR Heat Games. They own the, the Le Mans license. I'm going to make a video on that because I think it's important that we understand what's going on with that kind of hoarding of licenses and how they're all interconnected. It's, it's not all what it seems, actually over there but that's coming in a separate video make sure to subscribe if you want to see that otherwise hope you enjoy this some absolutely fascinating gameplay footage looking great looking better than ever and daytona is confirmed i can't wait to see more about daytona a real world track a brand new real world track for gran turismo 7 but there we go hope you enjoyed it stay safe and i'll see you all next time